Hey guys, this is the EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is a quick and simple diagnosis of a variable speed blower motor. All right, the power is off to the unit, okay? The main power switch is off. And what I want to show you is the TechMate Pro, all right? What it, what it has is it has connections to go onto the variable speed blower motor, the Gentech versions 2.0, 2.3, 2.5, and 3.0. All right, so so these are the connections that attach to the motor, and they are the low voltage side uh, or low voltage uh, terminals. They are not the high voltage terminals. All right, and then you have these two alligator clips, and they clip onto the red and common uh, on the control board. All right, so just so you know, uh, anytime you have the power on, there's always, uh, say on a furnace, you're always going to have the 120 volts going to the uh, variable speed blower motor housing over here. You're always going to be live with high voltage. <clears throat> it's always just waiting for the low voltage signal. All right, the low voltage signal is what's going to turn the uh, blower motor on. All right, so what we're going to do, we have the power off. We're going to go ahead and disconnect and connect our tech mate. All right, so right here. You see we have the the green, the blue, the yellow, and the red. All right, each manufacturer is going to have their variable speed blower motor designed for different values, all right, for the constant airflow. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect the TechMate Pro in there. All right, once again, the power is off. Make sure that's not touching anything. Two wires here, we're going to connect them in. There you go. All right. So, got our switch here. We're all connected up, ready to go. So, <clears throat> if you've already checked uh, to make sure that you do have a call, uh, from your thermostat going to the G terminal over here. All right, you, you know that you're supposed to be calling for the blower motor, or, or maybe you're in the heat cycle or the cooling cycle. All right, uh, but the blower motor is just not turning on. This is something that you can use to check it out. So we're going to turn the power on now. All right, and if we turn the TechMate Pro to the on position, it's going to give it a signal to go ahead and turn the airflow on. All right, and we if you can hear that noise, that's the blower motor turning on now. Okay, if the blower motor does not turn on when using the TechMate Pro, then the blower motor is bad, all right? You want to make sure, you know, you can check inside the housing, make sure that the uh, bearings are actually good. It's not seized or anything like that, all right? And just for your reference, just so you know, when you replace a variable speed blower motor like this right here, you want to make sure that the electrical connections are on the bottom. All right, not on the top because uh, just say the evaporator coil was to freeze or something for some reason, you know, maybe low refrigerant charge or something. Uh, you don't want it, the water to drip down onto the top of the blower motor, okay? The Gentech or the manufacturer actually recommends that you have a little wiring loop like coming off of the connections. It comes down and then comes back up and then comes over to the control board. This way, if you do have a drip come down the housing, it'll drip down. Um, and not go into the electrical part of the uh, variable speed blower motor. All right, but hopefully that's all like worst case scenario stuff, but I just want to remind you or let you know that the electrical connections are supposed to be on the bottom. All right, but that's how you do it. Uh, and that, once again, that's good for the 2.0, the 2.3, the 2.5, and the 3.0. All right, you're not going to need this for the X13. Um, that's the ECM blower motor. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time the AC Service Tech channel.